ever wondered how so many thousands of parts that make a car are put together or manufactured by a company? Or for that matter, what goes on behind the scenes at a hotel you check into? In order to make your stay comfortable, the hotel management has to manage the check-in, your room, the cleanliness of your room, the bathroom and all the fixtures and furnishings that are required there, the room service, the laundry service, etc. The primary objective of manufacturing or production and operations management is to effectively manage and utilize those resources of the firm that are essential for the production of goods and services. Manufacturing or production management refers to the management activities related to the production of goods. On the other hand, operations management is a step ahead of production management, or it can be said that production management is a part of operations management. It is what I call the guts of the business. Here is where the actual translation of value to be delivered to the customer becomes a reality. The difference between production and operations management is very thin and blurred. However, a quick comparison. Let's take the meaning. Production management connotes the administration of a range of activities belonging to the creation of products, while operations management refers to the part of management concerned with the production and delivery of goods and services. Now, production management is found in enterprises where production is undertaken, whereas operations management is found in banks, hospitals, hotels, companies including agencies, etc. The objectives for production management are to produce the right quality goods in the right quantity at the right time and at the least cost. Whereas the objectives of operations management is to utilize resources to the extent possible so as to satisfy customer wants. So when we look at operations management, it is a design, operation and improvement of systems that create and deliver the firm's primary products and services. Operations management is a discipline that includes the production of goods and services. Once a company decides to manufacture and sell a product, the specialized responsibility of the manufacturing management starts. Planning, organizing and controlling manufacture of goods is manufacturing management. Manufacturing is carried out through processes. A process is any activity or group of activities that takes one or more inputs, transforms them and provides one or more outputs. The output could be for an external customer for sale or for an internal customer to use for further processing. In some cases, it can be for the consumption in the same process or by the consumption by the producer himself. Thus, to compete with other organizations, a company must convert resources, that is material, labor, money, information, into goods or services as efficiently as possible. The upper level manager who directs this transformation process is called an operations manager. The job of operations management then consists of all the activities involved in transforming a product idea into finished product, as well as those involved in planning, controlling the systems that produce goods and services. All manufacturers set out to perform the same basic function, to transform resources into finished goods. To perform this function, in today's business environment, manufacturers must continually strive to improve operational efficiency. They must fine tune their production process to focus on quality, to hold down the costs of material and labor, and to eliminate all costs that add no value to the finished product. Making decisions involved in the effort to attain these goals is the job of the operations manager. Operation manager's responsibility can be grouped as follows, production planning, production control, and quality control. Coming to the first, production planning. During the production planning, managers determine 
how goods will be produced, where production will take place and how manufacturing facilities will be laid out. They also look at production method decision. This involves make to order, mass production and mass customization. Then of course there is the facilities decisions. After selecting the best production process, operations managers must then decide where the goods will be manufactured, how large the manufacturing facilities will be and how those facilities will be laid out. Then site selection. Managers must consider several factors. To minimize shipping costs both for raw materials coming into the plant and for finished goods going out. Managers often want to locate plant close to suppliers, customers or preferably both. They generally want to locate in areas where ample number of skilled workers are available. Managers must consider several factors. They want locations where costs for resources and other expenses, land, labor, construction, utilities and taxes are low. They look for locations with favorable business climate, one in which, for example, local governments might offer financial incentives, such as tax breaks, to entice them to do business in their locale. Then comes capacity planning. Once you have forecasted the demand for your product, you can calculate the capacity requirements for your production facility, the maximum number of goods that it can produce over a given time under normal working conditions. In turn, having calculated your capacity requirements, you are ready to determine how much investment in plant and equipment you will have to make as well as the number of labour hours required for the plant to produce at capacity. Then comes production control. Once the production process is underway, managers must continually schedule and monitor the activities that make up that process. They must solicit and respond to feedback and make adjustments where needed. At this stage, they also oversee the purchasing of raw materials and the handling of inventories. The third is quality control. Finally, the operations manager is directly involved in efforts to ensure that goods are produced according to specifications and that quality standards are maintained. Therefore, an operations or production manager needs to oversee the production process, drawing up a production schedule, ensure that the production is cost effective, decide what resources are required, draft a time scale for the job, estimate costs and set the quality standards, monitor the production process and adjust schedules as needed, be responsible for the selection and maintenance of equipment, monitor product standards and implement quality control programs, lies among different departments examples, suppliers, managers, etc. Supervise and motivate a team of workers and of course review their performance. Here are some excellent books that you can refer for greater depth of study. You may also refer to these along with our series of videos on operations and manufacturing management. Thank you.